Hello, my name is John Slater. I'm a principal lecturer at Sheffield Hallam University. I'm also head of undergraduate recruitment for the Faculty of Arts, Computing, Engineering and Sciences. So I'm one of the academics that's responsible for looking at the UCAS forms and making offers for students who wish to apply for engineering courses at Sheffield Hallam. Over the years we've had a number of modern apprentices join us. Um, we do have to be careful with modern apprentices on the basis that uh, their technical certificate covers a broad subject area. And we have to make sure that they are adequately prepared for what we're likely to throw at them at university here. But generally speaking, the, the ones that have, have followed a, a BTEC national through as part of their technical certificate do pretty well when they come to us. And we do welcome applications from modern apprentices. They add an extra dimension to the cohort and to the class. Their industrial experience and the fact that they are a little bit older, they've developed a work ethic helps to get some of the other students over that initial um, difference between being at school and being at university. It also helps them to bring into context what it is we're trying to do at university by talking to their fellow students and putting into context the academic work that we're doing at the time with them. So that there are lots of benefits to bringing um, modern apprentices and apprentices generally into university. At Sheffield Hallam here we have a broad portfolio of courses covering professionally accredited courses leading to chartered engineering status, courses that would lead to incorporated engineering status and then some technology based BSc degrees. Most of those also have HNDs running in parallel with them and in effect all courses would be open to modern apprentices, apprentices generally. It would of course depend on the content of their technical certificate and the area in which their apprenticeship had been carried out as to which of those courses would be best suitable for their future development. Uh, the other benefit at Sheffield Hallam is that we are, are able to in certain instances offer students alternative ways of progressing such that good performance at the end of the first year on some courses would lead them to taking up places in the second year of others. So whilst we might be restricted by some of the accredited courses in where we can take students because of their academic prowess at the start of the course, we can sometimes move them on to that course once they've proved themselves in our environment. So in effect, it's a wide wide area of courses, anything from forensic engineering through to uh, B engines in mechanical and computer aided engineering across the board, all courses would be open to a modern apprenticeship depending upon his prowess in that technical certificate. That really is the key to it. What we don't like doing is putting people into places where they're going to feel desperately uncomfortable. So through a process of, of recruitment, interview, discussion, as well as looking at qualifications, we aim to find an appropriate course for any individual that applies to us and that goes for the modern apprentices as well. Generally we find uh, that the modern apprentices do put up a very good performance um, and that's largely due to the fact that they've developed the work ethic before they join us, that they've settled into the career they know what the career path is and they're therefore a little bit more focused than perhaps the average A-level entrant. Um, and so from that point of view, they tend to do very well. With the caveat that we have to make sure that they're, they're up to the academic challenge and have had the appropriate preparation, which is the, uh, the technical certificate part of, the, of their apprenticeship. The, my experience at the moment, I have two modern apprentices that came to us some years ago they're following a part-time route which is which is fairly long we're talking about four stroke five years they're reaching the end of that and they're putting in a very very good performance a consistent amount of work a consistent quality all the way through we're in a situation in the South Yorkshire area where um, over the recent past, the Learning and Skills Council have done a number of surveys to determine what school shortages there are in the South Yorkshire area in particular. 
and they found that there's a, there's a big shortage of engineers, engineering knowledge, engineering skill and engineering ability at all levels. So there is a big future for anybody who's following engineering in the South Yorkshire area. But South Yorkshire area is not specific. It's a problem that's across the whole country. If you believe the national statistics, they're telling us that by 2009, we're going to be 270,000 engineers sure. So again, I believe there is a big future for anybody who's following engineering, period.